The next news is uh, comes from Europe, where the European Court of Human Rights, the uh, ECTHR, ruled that defaming the Prophet Muhammad exceeds the permissible limits of freedom of expression. So just to interrupt real quick, and just to clarify, the, the, the Court of Human Rights is saying that you have the freedom of expression except for when it comes to the Prophet Muhammad. Okay, continuing. They ruled that an Austrian woman's criminal conviction and fine for her statements accusing the Prophet Muhammad of pedophilia did not breach her right to free speech. The decision came as an Austrian national identified as ES by the court had uh, had held seminars on, Is- on Islam in 2008 and 2009 for the far-right Freedom Party, or the FPO, where she discussed the prophet's marriage to Aisha, as we discussed earlier, who was a child at that time, and implied that uh, that he was a pedophile. So they they somehow uh, took a, took offense to to that. I, I don't know. Um, I don't know why it was it was all true. This is unbelievable. This is this is so. I mean, if you're not concerned by this, I don't know what's going to concern you. If anybody values free speech, so just just right. just to be clear, what happened was this woman in Austria, right? She said that Muhammad yes. was a pedophile. Um, I mean, she technically she's she basically said that Muhammad had sex with a nine year old. That's what she said, right? Which makes yeah. him, which makes him worse than a pedophile. Makes him a child molester because he act not he actually abused children. It wasn't just that he wanted to; he actually did it. So it's a child molester, which is even worse. It's worse than a pedophile. To call him what he is. He actually molested children. Okay, just say it. I mean, and she said that, and she got a fine for it by the government, and she was she brought it, she appealed to. The highest court when it comes to human rights in Europe, right? Mm-hmm. What is this again? ECTHR? The, the ECTHR is correct. So what does that stand for? The ECTHR is the European Court of Human Rights. Which is when it comes to human rights, that's the highest court in, in the... Right, right. They are, they, are the, they are the deciding factor over whether or not human rights have been infringed on. So, and the, so the highest court in the EU decided that it's your freedom of speech does not protect you when it comes to insulting Islam when it comes to saying Muhammad was a pedophile you can't say that that's not covered by free speech right so the, the, and this is so fucked up like I don't know if people understand how fucked up this is this is the Europe which is supposed which is was the so- source of our enlightenment values where 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 the freedom of speech came from right and got came out of Europe and got spread to United States and everywhere else where enlightenment thinkers came from the highest court when it comes to human rights decided that when it comes to protecting a religion or protecting people's freedom of speech, the religion apparently takes priority. This is an absolute disaster, and this is not exaggerating. This, this is not. I, I don't. I, if if somebody wants to say this is we take this is exaggerating. This is fear mongering. This is a. This is a. The consequences of this for our planet is huge. Okay. No, no, you, no, you, you know, you, this, no, you, is, this is sets a really bad precedent. This is going backwards on a major with you know, this is a major leap backwards. And I'm yeah, like to all the people that thought like, oh, we're we're you know, we're crying wolf, and these things are not going to happen, and no, you know. This is not people are not going to come tell you and say you can't criticize religion. You're exaggerating things. We have blasphemy laws now in Europe. Jesus fucking Christ! Like I, this is this is. We need to like sound. Everybody needs to be sounding the alarm on this right now. Across oh yeah. Ac- now because of this, across all of EU, you can't. It's illegal for you to to point to a fact. That according to Islam, Muhammad fucked a nine-year-old. This is according to Islam, and you can't say that in Europe. This is blasphemy laws. This is Sharia law being enforced by human rights. A uh, human rights. What the fuck? Like honest. Like tell me. Oh, Jesus, this is. 
Look, look, okay, look. I, I, anybody out there who who wants to accuse us of, uh, you know, say that that we're fear mongering, you're goddamn right. We are. You should be afraid, and we are we are telling you why you should be afraid. It's because of things like this. You're looking at a a country who went from being a free country. Or let's just talk about Austria. Okay, let's just talk about the, the country Austria. Okay, Austria has about six hundred thousand Muslim inhabitants right now, not citizens. They have six hundred thousand Muslims living inside of Austria. Their total population is eight point eight million people. So you're talking about a country that went and started from uh, a, a country that is founded upon freedom, uh, especially freedom of expression. As a matter of fact, it's clearly outlined. It's outlined in their legislature. And you're going to tell me that you're going to allow 600,000 people to dictate to dictate a theocratic law into a secular country. Okay, So you're going to tell me that you're going to allow these 600,000 people to tell the other 8.2 million people – that they cannot point out the fucking obvious that the Prophet Muhammad was a pedophile. Was it, yeah. I mean, I, was, I, I always say, say he was a child molester, except ex, not a pedophile. But because this was a reaction to her saying it's a pedophile now, I think everybody should go out and say he was a pedophile. Yeah. I think people I, should I, have. I'm, I'm just think, using her, her her language. The, the, the word pedophile inflames the Muslims, and that's why I use it. Pedophile just is is not uh, is not a, a a sexual claim. But we're not we're not going to get in into that. Okay, we're, it's just it's just uh, an, an an attractant or whatever. Okay, so. I think but the reason that I the reason I use that term is because it pisses the Muslims off so much because it pisses them off to even think that their prophet can have impure thoughts. People should go out with signs saying Muhammad is a pedophile all over Europe right now. There needs to be a reaction to this. You guys don't know how, what you're losing. It, your your the fr freedom of speech is a right that all your other rights depend on. If you, it, this is not something that you could even give an inch to the other side on. Okay? This is every single right that you enjoy depends on this right, the freedom of expression, because it's freedom of expression that gives you the other rights. Because if you can't say, defend the other rights, you're going to lose them as well. Just, just don't back down on this. There needs to be a reaction to this. People should be yeah. in the street with. There should be thousands. If people knew what was good for them, there would be thousands of people in the streets right now with signs saying Muhammad was a pedophile. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. I mean, Islam it is right now. Islam is illegal. Sh illegal now in Europe because according to Islam, Muhammad was a pedophile. Like the Hadith is now illegal in the European Union because of. The oh, but 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 Austria is saying that oh, there's a no. difference. Because it was a difference in time and child marriage and so on and so forth. You know, just the, the normal apologetic bullshit. People saying that, oh, so well, that's not okay, what so it means so today. So he was a pedophile. So, okay, just that doesn't, ah, oh, fuck. Okay, what was, what, what is the reason why they're saying this is not covered? Again, just, but, but just, just, just because they're saying that, that there, it was a common practice, like even in, in European they're families. Saying that? Wait, or I thought their argument was that the reason nope. is that this ins this 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 was insult a lot of people. That's why th this is not covered under uh, free. Space. No, 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 no. Not not necessarily uh, insulting a lot of people, but she's saying. That, but they they said that they first of all had to draw the distinction between pedophilia and child marriage. Because they said, okay, well, uh, you know, there's, and they, they said well, what we said. There's a difference between pedophilia and child marriage, but child marriage was a common practice, okay, historically in both uh, in both Islam and in in European families. But they also said that she was uh, that her statements were capable of uh, putting uh, religious peace at risk. And as soon as I read that, I sat there and I was like, "Look, okay, if if mere words, mere statements can can uh, can turn a peaceful religion into a hostile one, then that religion was never peaceful to begin with." Yeah, if your if your religion is that fragile, then good because your religion needs to die. But here's the thing: first of all, first of all, all of this is bullshit. Okay, so whatever was normal back then the problem with religion is that it brings all the stuff that is normal back then to now okay yeah you know the the people say like well other other kings did that as well as you know did the same thing as well well yeah but nobody's following those fucking kings as role models today 
Okay? Muhammad is followed as a role model today. That's the problem with Muhammad fucking nine-year-olds compared to those other fuckers fucking nine-year-olds. Okay? Because none of those other people is seen as somebody that you have to follow. Okay? So, that... You, you know, it was normal back then. Yes, that's why we want to keep it to back then. What Muhammad does is brings the practices of back then to today. That's the problem with Islam. Second of all, let's say you're right. Let's say all these people are wrong. And saying Muhammad is a pedophile is wrong. It shouldn't be legal. It's free fucking speech. You're exactly. Human, it's free speech. You don't... You, just because they're wrong, you don't, you can't ban it. You can't find people for that, you idiots. You're the human rights... Ah, Jesus. Like you, you know, I... I can walk out. I can walk down Main Street, and I can say unicorns are real, and the and the the uh, the unicorn priests aren't going to form a posse to come and beat me up. Okay. Jesus Christ. And and why? It's not because the uh, the religion of unicorns is a peaceful religion. Okay. It's it, it's because I have my freedom of expression, and whenever you're whenever somebody else's religion infringes on somebody else's freedom of expression, just because you believe it. No matter no matter how no, no matter how strong your constitution and your belief are, it does not constitute another's belief in in, in, the, in the same belief. Believe believe what you want. If you don't want to criticize Muhammad, don't criticize Muhammad. But if you want to draw a picture of Allah and take a shit on it, you should be able to do so. Yeah, I, I think not only you should be able to do so because of this, it's your duty to do so. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, you should. If you're in Europe. Go ahead. I, I, I wonder if a thousand people are going to do this, what are they going to do about it? What are they going to do about it if thousands of people do the same thing tomorrow? Right? Yeah. They have, there needs to be, this needs to be appealed. If you, if you, by the way, if, if, if they think that this is, um, you know, hostile to other religions and that's why it should be uh, fined and uh, it, should, it shouldn't, it doesn't cover free speech. Based on this argument, all the religions should be banned because Islam is very insulting to Christianity, Judaism, and Hinduism, right? right. Christianity is insulting to Islam, Judaism, and every Hinduism. You know, they're all, right. they should all be banned. They all offend each like, other. Let me... Let me Wait, make how it. Many make people, it. No, no. Yeah, how many people are these? Are educated people? Are these the pictures of the people that decided this? Like, who? How did they come up with this? Like, who are they? Like, oh, Jesus Christ, I don't know what to do. Like, this is this is. If this is not you know, changed, this is going to keep going in a direction that a lot of people are going to regret. Like you guys, I, I don't know. I don't know. This is why I'm ha so happy, so jealous of United States. Uh, with and their and their and the freedom of speech because it's in their fucking constitution and you can't do sh you can't do anything against that like you, in all these other countries that talk about free speech at some point that could be taken away from you and when people said that now that's bullshit the you know these the free speech is not going to go away in Europe or in Canada this is proof that they are wrong and we weren't we were right to be afraid of a day like this right this is. Yep. This is countries that are supposed to be on the side of freedom and enlightenment values are now enforcing blasphemy laws. But go on, sorry. Yeah. Well, I, I just want to make, you know, I, I know that this, this concept, and I'm not trying to be rude, but this concept is hard for people to get. I just want to make a quick analogy that maybe it'll help some people understand a little bit better. I train horses. I bring in horses that are basket cases that have serious problems that nobody can ride, that nobody can touch. And it's something that I'm passionate about. Um, the most dangerous, one of the most dangerous things is a spooky horse, a horse that not, not a scary horse, but a horse that is easily scared, a horse that is easily spooked. Um, why? Because they can, they can throw you at a moment's notice. All it takes is a noise to set them off. All it takes is a, a motion to set them off. Something that, that's, that's not of any real bodily harm to them, but something that for some reason they have an irrational fear of. So I take these horses, I make them walk across plastic tarps, I shake plastic bags around their ears, I blindfold them, I put stuff on their back that they don't like, I make them walk through water, I make them walk through mud, I make them do things that are uncomfortable to them. But you know what? That is the only way that you break sensitivities that are dangerous. And at the end, you have a horse that can accept 
new sounds, a horse that can accept new motions, and a horse that is no longer a danger because it does not have an irrational fear in which it lashes out at innocent people. And a horse is a religion. The only way that you can get that religion to stop being easily spooked and scared is to is to attack it with words and with ideas and with motions that make them uncomfortable because in the end they will break those sensitivities and they will realize oh my fears are irrational and at the end that's that 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 spooked horse is no more you no longer have a spooked horse then you have something that is productive to society something that is as productive to you yeah, I mean, what you're saying worked with the Draw Muhammad Day annual event because you used to be very sensitive about that, but we turned it into an annual event, and it's not a, it's not that big of a deal as it used to be. <laughs> so we need to make Muhammad. We need to turn Muhammad as a pedophile into a meme, as you know. Yeah. We need to we need to desensitize them for for this. So, um, let me Brent, I, I, yeah? oh, sorry. Oh, uh, Brent in the comment section said that I have a sad horse. That's what I have, but I I promise you. <laughs> I am kind to my horses. I do not hit my horses. I do not beat them. All right, let's, I, let's move I, on to... I, so <laughs> yeah, okay. let me, I just wanted to, to uh, right, be yeah. clear on that. Um, so the Facebook comments are saying, uh, without factual uh, biases, the Quran, and then they edited to say Hadith, sorry, uh, explicitly states that Muhammad consummated his marriage with Aisha when she was nine. What else would you call a 50-year-old man that has sex with a nine-year-old girl? Um, Sin is saying it's supposed to be a council of human rights, not invisible sky daddy rights. Um, Steve is saying, how is it possible to insult a fictional character? What next is calling Harry Potter uh, gay homophobic? Well, I mean, um, we don't know. Muhammad was possibly probably not fictional. But, you know, we don't know how much of a story was made up. The, po the point is that it doesn't even matter if he was fictional or not. Insulting um, somebody that is dead um, doesn't matter. I mean, insulting somebody alive is, doesn't even matter. Like, this is free speech. Free speech covers everything. Craig is saying if you limit free speech, then by definition you don't have free speech. It's simple as that. Yeah, it's free speech is not freedom of speech I agree with or freedom of speech I like. It's freedom of speech. And this is coming from the uh, Human Rights Council. It's amazing. It's amazing that the source of this is a council that is supposed to be the champion of fighting for people's right to, for, to freedom of expression. It's, it's doing exactly the opposite of what it's, it's designed to do. It's amazing that it's unbelievable. Right, because all, all they are doing is giving another group of people uh, power over another. So really they are, they are counter-effective in their message. Um, Theo Mackey is saying looks like uh, looks like uh, the America uh, I think Amer saying North America is the last defense of free speech yeah I mean we, we're losing UK slowly now this is the EU um, Americas oh yeah he, he, you corrected yourself so it looks like the Americas is the last defense of free free speech yeah I mean I hope a lot of people are predicting bad things for Canada um, I hope they're not right, but at least we know United States has that in their constitution. Yeah, I mean, you people in the United States, I don't know if they're grateful for having that in yes. their constitution. They need to be. You guys need to be very grateful well, uh, to yes. have that. A lot, in a lot of people take it take it for for granted because they don't know anything else. They've never been to a country where they're not allowed to say something. A lot of people say like, "Oh, freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom to insult." Yes, it does. Yes, it does. <laughs> Yes, it does. Oh, it sure does because because you know what? It, it's it's not your fault that you offend somebody. If somebody is offended, it is their fault. They take offense. They choose to be offended. You you, no, you cannot you cannot no, offend even if anybody. You choose, even if you choose to insult them, even if your intention was to offend them, even if your intention was to be insulting, freedom of speech covers even that. Covers your oh freedom of speech doesn't mean freedom of hate speech. No, it does. Freedom of speech yeah. also includes hate speech. It includes all kinds of speech. Okay? Yes, but it does not protect you from societal consequences. It protects you from consequences from the government, but that does not mean somebody won't right. come up and hit you in the fucking face for no, no, being no. a jackass, you know? No, no, no. It should protect <laughs> you from that as well. It shouldn't protect you from somebody um, shaming you and exposing you, 
right? But if somebody wants to come and hit you in the face and the government on purpose doesn't protect you from that person, that's also against your freedom of speech because the government is supposed to protect you from abuse, from physical abuse, right? So the con- if, the con- if, you- if the consequences of your speech is somebody hitting you in the face, that's against free speech. The government should protect you no matter how hateful your speech is, no yes. matter how wrong you are. The gov- if somebody wants to come hit you in the face for your speech, the government should be there to protect you. And, and, and they do. But what I'm saying is that the government isn't going to be there to stop somebody from doing it. They're not going to guard you while you have this harmful message, and they're not going to enable you. But they will protect you from from uh, – from, from, uh, what, what I'm saying is shouldn't legal be accept- consequences. I, I, what I'm, sh- I'm saying is sh- any illegal acts against you should not be a part of the consequences that we accept against your speech. The only consequences that is acceptable if people – uh, speaking against you, ridiculing mm-hmm. you, shaming you, exposing you, and all of that. But anything I, illegal should not be should not be acceptable consequence against you. See, I, I don't I don't necessarily agree with that because even okay, so you take somebody who who uh, who agrees with Nazi ideology and who spreads it, but they don't necessarily um, act on it. They don't necessarily act like a Nazi. I mean, I'll I'll be the first to say I'll punch a Nazi. No, I mean, and no, no, no. I mean I, that's I disagree with you there. We could have an episode about that. If, okay. If somebody is just if somebody is a Nazi that they have, uh, but have they done anything illegal? Have they harmed anybody or not? Like if they haven't, then you should not be punching them in the no, face. No, no. Okay, look, they they don't necessarily harm, and I and I would get in trouble for punching the Nazi. No, okay, and, and I would and I would okay, accept well, let's the have it, let's but, have let's have a debate about that. You shouldn't be punching it. You shouldn't be punching somebody just because you disagree with them. Okay. Yeah, but we could have a, a, a comp, we could have let's have a do you want to have a deb- discussion about that on a different show on Atheist Republic sure, discussion? Sure, absolutely. Okay, okay. Uh, Theo Mackey saying everything from pissing off the right to not wishing to offend Muslims to be uh, or or be accused of racism is responsible for this ruling. Well, everything from pissing off the right to not wishing to offend Muslims or be accused of racism is responsible for this ruling. Oh, yeah. So maybe like the ju- the people that made this decision didn't want to be accused of racism. Maybe. I don't know. Right. Uh, um. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, Phoenix Hunter makes a good point. It says, uh, um, free speech is limited. Direct incitement to violence is illegal, even if seldom used. But we uh, we can draw cartoons and whatever. So, so yeah, I mean, there is there are exceptions to it uh, for uh, inciting violence. Yeah, I mean, okay, so when when you're committing um, a crime, okay, so if, for example, if I say to people like, go go these go kill this person, and I'll pay you a thousand dollars. Right, and they come arrest me, okay? Then you can't be like, "Oh, I had freedom of speech," because now you're conspiring to commit something illegal, right? So right, right, yeah, I'm not, I'm not arguing that at all. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying, like, inciting violence. There's a then it's you know, when you there's beyond free. What what the line between free speech where we where we draw the line is if it if it could be covered if what you're saying could be covered something be, uh, as a crime, right? Beyond. On a different on a different category that is already a crime. Like for example, a scam. If you tell people that hey, this will cure your cancer and charge money for them, and it's just water, that's a, that's a scam. That's not right. free speech because it's already categorized under a different uh, on a crime. Anyways, it's a com- it's a completely different thing. Um, anyways, let me see. As Soraya agrees with me. Any physical harm is not proper. I agree with Soraya. Uh, ask him how many punches it would take before the Nazi changed his mind. Exactly, Bobby. Nobody, yeah. nobody was punched in the face <clears throat> and decided to be like, "Oh, okay, maybe I'm not a Nazi anymore." Punching people does not change their mind, and Nazis do change their mind. I know a ton of people that are ex-Nazis, and none of these right. ex-Nazis became ex-Nazis because somebody punched them in the face. You're right. All right. So. Oh, so we don't need to have an ag- argument anymore. I, I convinced you. I changed your mind. No, no. I, I mean, I, I'm not saying that 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 my assault to you know the the wh- whoever's promoting hate speech is is not 
illegal or is not immoral. I'm, I am not arguing that at all. I'm not saying that it's that it's wrong, but I'm saying that I I personally would do it because I don't believe in the spread of of, of harmful ideology. Yeah, and but you somebody punching people, would, you punching anybody is not going to stop. Is not going to help not, the the it not spreading. In fact, it's going to help it spread farther. You think so? Yep, you're going to make them the victim. You're going to give them the victim card. That's what, exactly what they want. You know how much. Okay, more? so yeah. so how do we how do we stop the spread of Nazism then? Because you talk to the, them. Because but but hang on, hang on, hang on. This this whole neo-Nazi movement didn't didn't start up because because non or, or because Nazis were punching non-Nazis in the face to get them to be Nazis. You know, I mean, what? somehow somehow this this movement you know gained uh, gained more foothold and and increased when it had pretty much been obliterated. Yeah, again, and, and again, now, foot, again, foothold because p- people just point and yell at uh, the other side instead of listening and trying to convince them out, right? You this this whole uh, um, this whole alt right thing in the U.S. is an overcorrect overreaction to the whole PC culture. It, that's why the whole the rise of Trump was a reaction to the PC culture, an over uh, overreaction to it. If you right, actually but, listen but it, to other side still, and talk to them, you get a better result from them. But in the meantime, they're still spreading harmful ideas with real consequences. These, yeah. these aren't it's, it's not just words because yeah. there are people who will hear these words and act upon them like the anti-Semite who shut up the Pittsburgh synagogue. Yeah, and you go and punching him in the face is going to not achieve anything. In fact, they, it's going to it's going to bring more it's going to give them the victimhood card. It's going to make more people think that they must have something to say right that people want to punch them in the face that people they must be saying something right if people other people want to silence them or else if they if they would think that if you had good ideas against them instead of punching them you would be arguing with them arguing with them you must not you must have nothing to say to them that you're punching in the face yeah you got a point you've got a point yeah Yeah. i mean yeah i i will concede that there are that i i probably spoke out of emotion than than logic uh in 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 practice, yes, I would I would definitely try to reach somebody with words before before punching and them. It, yes, but well before, <laughs> before punching, <laughs> no, you should never punch. <laughs> you should never punch them. And I t- I'll tell you, there's a lot of people that if you actually listen and talk to them, don't lo- don't give up on anybody. Li- talk to people. People are, do have the capacity to change their opinions. Yeah, exactly. Uh, don't give up on me, Armin. One day I won't punch, punch Nazis. <laughs> <laughs> okay. No, uh, I mean I think I already convinced you. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Let's just move on before you say you're right. <laughs> Atheist Republic's mission is to give atheists around the world a louder voice. In order for us to be able to continue the Atheist Republic, we need your help. If we reach a hundred patrons, we'll finally be able to afford all our costs. Help us get there. <laughs> 